I'm a rowdy guy, I'm a really rowdy guy. Had to quit drinking, had a very bad drinking problem. My problem was I tried to take small town drinking to a big city. You can't do that, you just get arrested. Hello, hello! All right. <laughs> I, uh, I live in Vancouver now, very expensive city. Infl inflation's getting everyone, but Vancouver the OG. Uh, very expensive, very expensive city. You gotta make money if you wanna live above ground. Me and my roommate, we decided to get side hustles and commit to them. He started mining cryptocurrency. I started acting in Vancouver. We have both lost $3,000 so far. <laughs> so I ride a bicycle is what I'm trying to say to you people. Found out recently, having a cigarette beside your bicycle is a good way to let everyone know you're on it for financial reasons, <laughs> not for health reasons. I wear a high visibility vest when I ride my bicycle at night. Uh, the main reason is uh, not to just be seen, it's because if I was to make a sweeping generalization about the types of people that would be in their car or truck and see someone riding a bicycle and swerve into that person killing them for no reason, those are also the same types of people that fucking love high visibility vests. <laughs> you know I'm right. Some dude in an F-150 Harley Davidson edition, just like goddamn cyclist taking up the road. How about I take you out of the game there, bud? Oh shit, he's got a high vis on, probably just got off work and has a DUI. We've all been there. <laughs> I, have a, I have a day job. I have a day job, and depending how good I am talking to people uh, after this show, I still might have one. Uh, <laughs> Studied history in university, studied history in university, so obviously I work construction. Woo! Made the mistake of putting the I got vaccinated sticker on my hard hat. That's a fun way to be called a pussy a hundred times a day. <laughs> First six months of the pandemic, it was totally normal in, uh, in Vancouver, just building condos that no one can afford so drug money can be laundered through and then into the pandemic, they brought in a law in British Columbia. You had to wear a mask in all buildings. You had to wear a mask indoors. Had to wear a mask in all buildings. Had to wear a mask indoors. So that was fun to watch all my coworkers have a full on existential crisis. <laughs> gotta wear a mask in buildings. Gotta wear a mask indoors now. When the fuck does a building become a building if we're goddamn building it? How are we indoors? There's no goddamn doors yet. <laughs> I'm the door guy. I said when there's goddamn door. and had a lot of serious concussions. <laughs> I'm a rowdy guy, I'm a really rowdy guy. Had to quit drinking, had a very bad drinking problem. My problem was I tried to take small town drinking to a big city. You can't do that, you just get arrested. <laughs> One time I got in a full on fist fight at a nightclub on the drug MDMA. Historically, MDMA, not a fight drug. <laughs> Ecstasy, not a fight drug. Also, if you're still calling it ecstasy, you're too old for drugs now. <laughs> Lipitor is the drug we should be on, my doctor says. MDMA is less of a fight drug. MDMA is more of a fight the urge to rub the back of your cab driver's head. 
it was terrible. This guy grabbed me by the throat, pinned me against a wall, and all I could say back to him was, fucking kiss me! Had a wake-up call with drinking. One time I blacked out at a charity event, got kicked out, stole a bunch of alcohol, don't remember anything, and then woke up after a blackout in a literal graveyard. <laughs> yeah, a little heavy on the metaphor. God, Zenu, goes to Christmas future, whoever. <laughs> now here's the thing. That graveyard is across the street from a 24-hour fried chicken restaurant. So I got fried chicken in a blackout, went back to the graveyard, ate fried chicken in a blackout, and then woke up after a blackout in a graveyard covered in chicken bones. <laughs> that will make you rethink your entire goddamn life because for five seconds, chicken bones look a lot like baby bones. Oh my God! What have I done? Why did the baby come with coleslaw? <laughs> You gotta get the cold saw, baby. You guys have been a great crowd. No, 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 no. no I'm done. I'm done. Thank you so much. I've been Ryan Wes.